for a few driving. Like this is, he's, he's pretty far out there. Ready? Yeah. Go. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> So here's the thing, Stefan and I were going through Walmart the other day, weren't we Stefan? Yes we were. We literally just picked them up, put them in the cart. I say you and I each take one of these. We have half a day to make the Fly RC. All right man, let's do it. Let's do it. What do you think happens if I put this on upside down? <laughs> so before we take this apart, before we do any modification, we know it flies good just like this. We're gonna find out where is our CG or center of gravity. No matter what we do, we'll most likely want to keep it. I can't believe it's that far back. That's ridiculous. All right, so it's like the last third of the wing instead of the first third. But you know what, that's where it flies. That's where we'll keep it. So when I balance this out in the future, I'm gonna want it to be balanced out in this area right here. Right toe. All right, so what's the game plan here? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna modify, we're gonna make it RC. So if we put a motor all the way out here on the front, it's going to make it very nose heavy, meaning the battery had to be out here. So my thought is maybe if we hack the nose back a little bit. Okay, that's what you're saying. Because there's no rules in this game, there's right? No rules. So the other thing I'm thinking about is control surfaces. And rather than trying to hack these control surfaces out, I'm wondering if we should add like some little foam board control surfaces. But then I also have thoughts about whether or not that's going to change the, if you, because that's technically going to be changing the wing. Yes. So therefore it might change the seat <laughs> G. And so I don't know anything, really. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I'm cheating. So do you guys remember the How to Train Your Dragon episode where we took the twin sparrows? Yes. And we destroyed them at the end because yes. we do that? I took the guts out of it. So oh. this is our twin micro pack. I think it's a power pack each twin. And I'm just gonna literally take this. You guys think I'm smart? I'm really lazy. I wanna make this so possibly it doesn't need a rudder to fly. So literally you steer it with a throttle. Oh, so differential thrust. Differential back. thrust. I want to be able to steer it with throttle. And no, possibly cool. if we do it right and the angle's right, make it a one channel airplane. So literally you give throttle, it goes up, back off, it goes down, and then you steer with throttle. No servos. I don't think I'm going to get there, but that's going to be the goal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack some small pieces of foam and try to mimic a control surface and hope that it doesn't change the characteristics of the plane too much. It flew really good as a glider, like really good. So if I decrease that good flying characteristics by 30%, it's still gonna fly. Real still well. gonna fly fine, yeah. All right, so I'm going by the fly and that's typically not my style. <laughs> but what I'm thinking about doing is I wanna make this so hopefully it flies off of one channel. All right. I don't wanna cut into this because it's flimsy. So I'm gonna take some foam board and I'm gonna put an elevator on it. I'm gonna use two servos and I'm gonna mix the elevon so basically it'll, it'll work together. Oh, okay. So if I wanna roll it, I'll hopefully roll it at the tail and then the differential thrust will oh, give me yaw and then I'll have pitch. So and that way I just, it'll be a two channel airplane. I just want two servos, but I want all four, four functions. Hopefully it'll fly off of one function, but you know, I'm gonna hedge my bets. I made some control surfaces today. <laughs> we made these out of foam board. Now this is the brown foam board here. This is the stuff that we make all of our planes. If you guys are familiar, we have about 50 designs of scratch built planes that we provide free plans for. We also sell speed build kits. Oh, no. This foam board is actually the same kind of foam board that you can buy from the dollar store. The reason why ours is brown is because it's our own custom formula. It's a little bit better with water. So we use this, we have this stuff laying around and if you don't have this, you can get some foam board from the dollar store. This is the type of stuff you do your presentations on in elementary school. So what I did here is I added full wing aileron control surfaces on both wings. And basically it's as simple as cutting out a sliver of foam. I taped it on. Now I was a little concerned that this tape wouldn't stick to this foam, but it actually sticks to the white foam even better than it sticks to our foam, yeah, which is good. Unbelievable. Then what you do is you do a little bevel cut on the inside here. You cut this right down here at about a 45 degree angle. It doesn't need to be perfect. What that'll allow you to do is get your deflection there. So when we're flying, we're gonna have a nice roll axis here. Did the same thing on the tail. I'm gonna be connecting these with like a barbecue skewer or something. And this is gonna give you your up and down pitch. It's like a whale tail. I need to get servos on these. Those airplanes that I mentioned are 50 airplanes that we designed. Each one of those has a specific power pack, which is basically just an electronics pack that comes with everything you need to power it. We're gonna be using a power pack A for this one, which is traditionally for a pretty small airplane, but because this plane is so light and floaty, I think it's gonna have more than enough power to fly. I don't know, we'll see, stick around.
So here's the thing, because the CG is so weird, I don't want to cut off any of the nose. So I'm trying to place my electronics in a way where I can keep the plane looking as original as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I got a little bit of weight up front here and it doesn't look like much, but a small weight up front is a big deal. A lot of weight closer to the CG doesn't affect it as much because of the, the, the fulcrum and lever. I'm gonna use these servos I'm gonna mount these servos all the way at the back to hopefully take some of that weight because even though the servo's light, a little bit of weight between two servos is gonna counteract that. I'm gonna try to mount my battery like right at the center here and hopefully keep all that stuff together so when it's done, it just looks like we stuck two motors on, two pieces of cardboard, and we're good to go. All right, so here's my mounting procedure. We're gonna just take this. We're gonna just glob some globulars on there. You don't need to worry about getting to these screws ever again because they're not going anywhere. So that's why it's totally appropriate to just glob this on there. Just wanna make sure you don't get it on any of the moving parts of the motor because it needs to spin the propeller. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just eyeball that right on there. I have no idea how hot glue adheres to this type of foam, but I have a feeling that we're about to find out. So as long as my thrust angle is not an issue, it seems to be sticking, kind of. <laughs> Look at how that looks. That looks sick. <laughs> it looks awesome. All right, so we're looking pretty good. I got the control surfaces up. I got a popsicle stick here to bind my elevators together. And we're starting to add the servos. Now we're using the Power Pack F, which comes with these custom flight test five gram servos, which have worked really, really well. When you're building any kind of plane, the most crucial thing to make it fly good is going to be the center of gravity. The main payload on most RC planes that are electric is the battery. So I'm gonna put that right there. I think the balance point on this guy, about right there. Oh, it's looking good actually. Might be on the side of nose heavy. But the nice thing is we have this Velcro, so we can just move it back. Move it back. Oh, dude. Perfect. Actually, the battery sits right on the CG, so I could probably use all kinds of different size batteries and it won't even matter. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Josh, you ready? <laughs> he's wait he's just sitting there waiting. He's, he's been coming. done. He's been done for a half hour. <laughs> we're gonna get batteries charged up. We're gonna get a chase squad to chase after him. Let's we're go fly. fly. Foam planes. Yep. Ten dollar Walmart plane. Once you think you got the CG right, another good thing is to just chuck it just like these things were made to be and see how it glides. Whenever we design any of our foam board airplanes, we always take it out and see if it glides. If it glides, most likely it'll fly. Yes. You just gotta put control inputs. We wanna keep these in one in one piece. So we're gonna do a basic glide test with both of our planes to make sure they work. All we right. got a minor breeze today and it's going that way. So he's gonna throw it into the wind. Ready? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fly. That's great. We're good. Go ahead and toss mine. All right. You happy with where all the deflection is? Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, a little nose down. A little nose heavy. Yeah, that's actually what? not bad, though. I'll take it. If I'd rather have nose heavy. Yeah, if you toss it and the plane does this, it just kind of goes up and stalls. Yeah. Most likely it's tail heavy. If it nose dives, it's nose heavy. But one rule of thumb is that a nose heavy plane is better than a tail heavy plane. All right, mm -hmm. so who's going first? Rock, paper, scissor. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Ooh, one to one. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Oh! Ah! Yeah, I won one! So you're first. I'm first, okay. So we're flying this off a little Hyperion 453 cell, which should give us about seven minutes flight time. But if it glides well, It'll stay a lot longer. You can check the links below. Everything that we use in our videos, we're gonna do our best to put them in the links below. Um, so we'll put that battery down there and anything else that you see on this video. All right, man. <laughs> All right, how are you feeling about this thing? Dude, I had so much fun. Dude, yours is a lot lighter than mine. Is it a lot lighter? Yeah. Cool, I want, I want a motor glider. And actually, if this stays one piece, Austin says he wants it. All right, we're gonna give it All to right. Austin, so hopefully you don't break it. All right, man, you All ready? Right, ready? <laughs> oh, 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 my oh, God. <laughs> Dude, it looks like an airliner. Dude! <laughs> it looks so cool! Oh my That's goodness! so awesome, dude. Why? That is so uneventful! I wasn't expecting so, it to be a cool looking plane. So the crazy thing is, is the ailerons, everything is docile on it. Let's see. So how's your elevator working? Is it is it the I'm elevons up, actually working for I'm you? I'm running. Just, this is just one stick right now. Just one stick. So you're not even using your differential? No, not yet. Matter of fact, now I'm gonna go ahead and do, here's my differential there. So Dude, and even differential turns it coordinated, look. Dude, oh my gosh, that actually looks like a great airplane. Oh my goodness! Dude, I can't believe it! That's so cool. <laughs> what we mean by differential is he has the two motors, so you can use it to make the plane look left and right like this by speeding up or slowing down the motors. This is this is hands oh off, man. Goodness, that's amazing. This is crazy. All right, you wanna bring it for landing? Uh, sure. sure. And then we'll fly, see how mine flies, and we'll I try wanna, to fly them I'm together. Gonna, I'm gonna throttle back, I wanna see how long it glides. So this is that's, that's throttle off. That's throttle off. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, that's amazing. That's it looks amazing. awesome. Look at Coming in the final going. here. Coming right, in for a landing. Here you go. 
<laughs> yeah! Yours is better. All right, man. I'm feeling I'm gonna like yours better than well, mine. All right. You got sauce to this. I got. This is a little bit saucy motor. I got a race quad motor on there. This is the Power Pack F, and I have a larger battery. So Josh has one less servo than me, but I have one less motor than him. Yes. So it's a little bit different design. I don't have any differential or rudder. So this is all what we call bank and yank, meaning you bank the plane with the ailerons and then you pull up to turn. All right. Here Ready? we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Dude, crushed it! Dude, it's flying, man! It's slow too! <laughs> it's definitely a little bit faster than yours. It's torquey, so I have I have a big prop and a big motor on there. I also kind of feel like the uh, the thrust angle is a little wonky just because I okay. slapped that motor on there. It still looks like it flies really good though. It like, flies all you pretty need to good. Do is just that thrust angle. Especially it flies good enough to get it up in the air and then you can just glide it around. Have you tried dead stick yet? Yeah, all right, I'll bring it in for a landing here. That's that's dead stick right there. Dude, that's good. That's still dead stick. Nice! <laughs> that's a pretty good, good glide ratio. That's a great glide ratio. That's fun. So there's only one thing left to do, and that is to fly together. Fly together, yes. Because the only thing better than flying a sweet plane through the air is flying two sweet planes through the air with, with your, your awesome friend. friend. All right, Ian, you ready? Yep. Here we go. All right. It is a little convicting that, that you could just take a chuck glider and do this this quick, Bill. You got differential thrust. Have you tried a flat spin? Dude, I don't think it'll flat spin. I'll take it up here. I put the uh, motors real close together so it'll help me turn, but it won't help me flat. Ready? You could probably do it. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! The oh, that oh, looks there it goes! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, so cool. <laughs> That was awesome. That was amazing. Dude, that's what we need friends for, is to push the limits, right? Yep. All right, so this is funny. My, my plane flies great if you turn right the whole time. As soon as you turn left, this is what happens. <laughs> what was that? Did a wing over. I call that the windmill. Right, here we go, ready? <laughs> it does it every time, dude. dude. That's so awesome. All right, roof touching no time. Oh! Here comes the monster. Let's try it again. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got it, man. Here we go. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> Dang it! All right, bring it in for Whee! a nice scale aircraft land landing okay. through the gate or through, through the, a gate. Through a gate. See, I shouldn't have wings after this. In other words, <laughs> dude, I I think my wings are bigger than the gate. Itself. <laughs> it's pretty close. Here he comes, dude. Look at that approach. It looks like a real airliner. Yo! Yes! It's a clear winner, dude. Congratulations, Vix. <laughs> that oh was awesome. You, you took home the $10 Walmart Challenge <laughs> Trophy. 2018. We really recommend that you guys go out there and try projects like this. It's really that once you get into the hobby, you really learn quickly that it's not about the planes. It's yeah. about the experience. It's about flying. It's about spending time together and the whole build process. It's all a ton of fun. So make sure you go out and do it. And leave a comment what you want to see us fly next. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.